Ah, a car that doesn't start. Let's see if this car does. Well, more promising. So as you can probably guess, my Golf R doesn't start again, <laughs> which is a bit disappointing. Um, I noticed as soon as I unlocked the car, basically the mirrors just went really slowly out and I was like, fuck. It's been about two weeks since I drove it, but it was a long drive before then. So basically, yeah, the battery is knackered. So I'm gonna have to get that replaced. Um, yeah, which is a bit of a shame, but let's see if the Fiesta ST starts because, well, <laughs> It's proving a little bit more reliable than the Golf these days. So let's find out if on the clutch. First time. <laughs> no question about that. It's working. Uh, let me just shut off all of these things. Um, there you go. Running, no issues. Yeah, so the Golf R, let me put the camera um, in front. So yeah, the Golf R still having issues with the battery. Um, thank you actually for my previous post a couple of weeks ago when I actually mentioned that it was having some problems. Sort of mentioning the EFB battery is not as good as an, um, an a AGM? I think it's AGM. Um, so I'm gonna get it replaced and switch out. I have got a service juice soon. Well, now actually, <laughs> um, but because because I'm not using the car, I was going to give it another month or two before I take it in for a service until I'm properly back to work, driving into work. So I don't think I'm going to get it done at um, a VW dealer just because I don't really want to. I know people have mentioned if you get a battery replaced, um, you have to then get it coded into the car, um, which my understanding is that well, if I took it down to, if you're in the UK, if you know Halfords, it's just another auto centre basically. Um, they can do that and I guess if I had any problems with it, I can always then just take it to VW and they could <laughs> work their magic. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I think it's going to cost me about £170 or something. Um, a little bit of a shame of a car that's just over three and a half, well, just over, yeah, just over three years old. So one of those things, a bit frustrating. Luckily, I haven't actually been planning on going anywhere today. Um, it was just to turn over the cars, which you shouldn't really have to do every five seconds anyway. Um, like this Fiesta's just started straight away. Sure enough, you leave it a couple of months, you're probably running the risk, but a couple of weeks you shouldn't. Um, so yeah, a bit frustrated about that, but I don't necessarily think it's the cars for, I think it's just the battery. So- Phone disconnected. Well, so we'll get that sorted. Um, and yeah, hopefully the Golf will be back up and running. But yeah, a little bit disappointed that, um, yeah, it's not proving particularly reliable on this front. But I did want to see if it happened again so that I would then make the decision to then spend a little bit of money to sort it out. So I will sort that out and let you guys know. But yeah, it's another jump start for the Golf R. Um, I've already done a video on me doing it before. So yeah, link <laughs> above there for that. I won't show it this time. Um, bit of a shame because it's absolutely chucking it down and it's really dark and grey which for July is well I suppose it's the UK so you never know it's perfect weather to drive the Golf R like this Fiesta ST because I've had mine for four years as well ne never really enjoyed it in the wet it was very unpredictable and not particularly that fun more frustrating than fun whereas that thing is just fun <laughs> and I always think to myself oh you want to have fun during sort of like sometimes dark and miserable times don't you so yeah, a bit of a shame that I can't go out for a blast in that today. Um, yeah, so I will get that sorted and we'll report back. But on more positive news, hopefully this week we'll hear more about the Mark 8 Golf R. Um, I'm really looking forward to finding out. Uh, they were meant to release it, sort of the Goodwood Festival Speed, which would have been on about last weekend or around this time. Um, obviously that's been cancelled and the future of all sort of auto shows are now kind of coming to an end. So we'll have to see but I think it will be exciting. I really do, I think it's gonna be something cool. Um, I think it will be the best R model that BW make, I think. It's just a given, it will be the lightest one they make, it will be the most attainable one that they make. 
um, and I think it's got a lot going for it and we'll have to see see what it turns out like and see what they kind of describe it as and I'll certainly do a couple of videos on it I might do like if BW do some sort of trailer or something I might do like a reaction <laughs> video or something like that do like um, a screen capture of it and just my thoughts on it um, yeah and go through from that because the build up's been really really good and thank you so much for the recent support and actually the latest images that I did and sort of going through those you know that's up to 11,000 views and about 141 likes which is pretty unprecedented from my type of channel so I really do appreciate that and the support for it and all the new subscribers as well yeah so plenty more content to come and um, yeah but this is unfortunately the realities of cars <laughs> some start some um, yeah some don't and it's the Golf R that's not at the moment so yeah we'll have to get that working but um, yeah let me know in the comments what you're looking forward to hopefully we hear a release this week I mean it's, it's the 8th of um, July today um, I'm going to quickly post this video out so you should see it later tonight <laughs> at some point um, yeah and yeah any advice as well on sorting the battery out for people in the UK maybe or whoever um, let me know and um, we'll go, I'll go from there. A few people have said I'll just go to VW and tell them that you're just outside warranty. But because we're in such difficult times, it's really challenging because they've kind of got the upper hand in the sense that demand for going to workshops and stuff is really, really high. So they can pretty much charge what they want. You know, if you don't go to them, it's not gonna, <laughs> it's not gonna hurt them at all, basically. Um, particularly like a giant like VW, who you know are a huge car manufacturer. They don't really. They're not really going to care too much whether I get my battery changed there or down the road. So, yeah, that's why I sort of haven't haven't really bothered with the hassle really. Um, but yeah, always interested to know your thoughts. And yeah, looking for some positive news as I mentioned in um, I do post every now and then on um, on YouTube's like community type page again. It's a bit of a community challenge channel. Um, so yeah, get some more positivity from the Mark Eight Golf R we'll go from there but yes and um, thanks so much for watching thank you for watching the video and hopefully we'll get this thing sorted and yeah i will report back but hopefully the next video is actually on the mark 8 golf r when we hear more fingers crossed they release information soon and i can share it with you um as an as an owner of a mark 7 and talking to a lot of enthusiasts as well or just people who are generally interested about it might even buy it so yes, um, thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Even if it is wet and miserable and you're having a hard time, have a great rest of your day. And yeah, um, I will see you again next time. Cheers, guys.